Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Rai Mehta bringing you another tutorial today on eye enhancements. Now the reason I wanted to do this tutorial is that when you're doing a portrait that's this up close, uh, more often than not you want the focus of the image to be the eye. Um, you have cameras like the Sony cameras that have eye out of focus because that's what usually uh, portrait photographers go for um, and I really wanted to show you guys how we can make those eyes pop. Um, it's very easy to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just create a curves layer. I'm going to invert it so you control I on Windows, Command I on Mac. I'm just going to take the brush. I'm just going to zoom in a bit. Yes, uh, so I'm just going to take the brush. I'm going to paint over the mask. For those of you who do not know how to use masks, I'm basically just coloring the area that will be affected by the changes I'll be making further in this tutorial. Uh, right now I haven't done anything so you can't really see. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this hand tool. This is quite important. I feel like a lot of people don't use this when they're using curve masks. Um, I'm going to bring it here and I'm going to bring it to a lighter part of the eye. Now I don't want to do the catch light because that's a little too white um, for the effect that you're going for and stuff so you want to pick a color that's like relatively lighter i think this area looks light i'm just going to click here and i'm going to raise it up then what i'm going to do is i'm going to cl click a darker spot not the pupil something else probably this and i'm going to bring it down as you can see there's a lot of contrast uh, that has brought about in this area you can see there's a lot of color and if i zoom out you can see there's a significant difference. I've just painted over one eye so you can see this is before, this is after. I'm just going to paint over here as well so you can see the overall effect of how it looks like. This is how it looks before, this is how it looks after. Like I know at the moment it looks a little over the top but that's because I haven't edited the rest of the image. There's no contrast that I've added that I usually would add uh, and you can always tweak how crazy you want to go uh, with this but this is just like the rough idea of how to go about. I just want to show you once more. This is before and this is after and that's about it. That was quick, that was simple, that's very easy to do and like really pops the eyes out. I hope you guys like this tutorial let me know if there's anything that you want to learn um, you can drop it in the comment section below if you like this please subscribe this video and I will see you guys next time take care